Good evening. This is Senator Kara McConaughey. We are in Algonquin tonight to talk about education funding reform. Lots of things, lots of ideas in Springfield that the General Assembly is considering, but one of the ideas that we're talking about is a whole new approach to how we fund education in Illinois in order to assure that every child in Illinois has an adequate education. Uh, joining me tonight in one of our panels is Dr. Uh, Jacoby, who is the spokesman in the organizer of Vision 2020. It's a proposal that is now in bill form in, in the General Assembly. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. So Vision 2020 stems from uh, educators gathering and deciding what would be the most important things that we could recommend to the legislature and to the whole education community about what education should look like in 2020. Right. And one of those key components is around funding. And we look at funding from really two perspectives. One, how can we reduce the cost of education uh, through mandate relief and various kinds of ways to sort of free districts into making better decisions at a local level. But then secondly, trying to provide a platform upon which equity and adequacy can be installed in Illinois finally. 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 Um, and to be able to do that over time, because we all know that the resource uh, bank in Illinois is, is struggling right now, um, but if we have a pathway to try and implement in a scalable form uh, re resources toward adequacy over time, by between now and say 21, 22, we'll get it done. Um, now our, our, our plan is really to be pretty straightforward, kind of looking at schools like they look at their own budgets. What does it really cost to deliver an educational program? So it's, it's common yeah, sense. Common sense. You know, you have students, you have teachers, you have materials, you need technology, you need buildings and heat and light and all those kinds of things. We can determine those kinds of costs. And once we determine the, the kind of programmatic definition that we want to have for all students, we can now say this is the cost of an adequate education. Then we can determine what the local share should be. And we need to do a little work on that. We right. have some disparities in Illinois, right. especially between Cook County and other counties. We need to d address that issue. But once we know what the local share, then the state share is what remains. And if we scale it in over five or six years, I think we could be, be in a position in the, in the early part of the next decade where we could possibly say we are providing an equitable, adequate education to all students. Evidence-based. Evidence-based. Based on the evidence of what it really costs, <clears throat> but also integrating research into that dialogue because there are certain things that you can do in schools that have a really great return on investment. Things like full day kindergarten, things like lowering some of the class sizes in those early elementary years where you can pay more attention to student needs that pays dividends through the rest of their school right, career. Right. So it's, it's a no-brainer but it does cost some resources to be able to address those kinds of issues. So if you marry what it costs today to do a, a standardized program and you bring research-based practices into that, you really end up with a high-quality, adequate educational program. Which is so long overdue in the state of Illinois, you and I both know, uh, and the idea that we, we could come up with a formula takes it out of the hands of the bureaucrats and the, and the politicians and really come up with a way to measure performance mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. and assure that, that we, we're providing adequate funding to, to give that to every child in Illinois. I thank you for the proposal. Hey, you're very welcome, and I really appreciate the opportunities to be a part of your uh, funding dialogue <laughs> thank, with your constituents you. as well. So and we got to keep doing it because people need to know what we're talking about. Yeah. Thank you for joining us tonight.